Alexander Heating and Air Conditioning presents Steps to Properly Charge a Fixed Bore Air Conditioner. Using a sling psychrometer, get the indoor web bulb and dry bulb temperatures from their return. Using an infrared thermometer, get the supply temperature out of the register. Using the sling psychrometer, get the ambient temperature from the outside of the condenser grill. Using a standard conversion chart, determine the proper superheat necessary for the ambient temperature and indoor web bulb temperature. Check your pressures. Convert those pressures to temperature and then check your line temperature. Calculate the superheat, subtract the actual gauge temperature of the low pressure gauge from the actual thermometer temperature on the suction line. The temperature difference is the actual superheat. Compare this to the required superheat. From the ambient outside temperature, add 30 degrees for R22 or 20 degrees for R410A. Convert that temperature to pressure using your pressure temperature chart. This is your target head pressure. Now if your actual head pressure is higher than your target head pressure, you can narrow the problem down to either an overcharge or a high load condition. If your actual head pressure is lower than your target head pressure, you can narrow the problem down to either undercharge or low load condition. Finally, compare the actual superheat to the target superheat. A low head pressure and low superheat is a low load condition. A low head pressure and high superheat is an undercharge condition. A high head pressure and high superheat is a high load condition. And a high head pressure and low superheat is an overcharge condition. High load and low load, you will not need to change the level of the Freon. Check for open windows or low temperatures in the home your system is working properly. In an undercharge situation, add the Freon in small increments. Two or four ounces at a time works best. Stop and wait for at least five minutes for the system to stabilize. Check the superheat again and repeat until the superheat is within five degrees of target superheat. Always use a refrigerant scale. In an overcharge situation, Remove the refrigerant until the actual superheat comes within target superheat. Remove slowly in two to four ounce increments. Wait five minutes between the removals to allow the system to stabilize. Always use the refrigerant scale and proper recovery tank. Never mix refrigerants. Thank you for watching and visit us at www.alexhvac.com.